Oh yeah! What's up everybody? Welcome to Firearms of America. Today as you guys can see I'm out here at Shooters. North Myers, Florida about to do the review of yes some more gear and as you can see I'm wearing it right now. It is yes the sling from a company called Elite Survival. Check this thing out. Now this particular one is called Blindside because when you wear it, you become blindsided. <laughs> blindsided. All right, let's talk about this thing. I had an opportunity to uh, wear this thing for uh, about two weeks now as my main EDC instead of the Vertex uh, that I have, that I have recently done a review on as well. And actually, um, I quite enjoyed doing that review, so I think I'm gonna enjoy doing the review of this thing as well because this is actually pretty good. If you're looking for something that is uh, low profile, versatile, very quick and you it don't really take a lot of the space. You don't want something that, you know, kind of creates something that like, you know, you're carrying too much stuff. No, you want something be really streamlined. This thing right here is pretty good. And of course, in the color black, regular black, you just cannot go back. So let's start with the main compartment. We have, again, some space here for uh, more so of a tablet uh, or a very, very small laptop because after all, this is a tiny sling, all right? This is uh, not a lot of space. We got the loop. Again, you can uh, use it to hang, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you have, uh, if, you're, if you're wearing, you know, a battle belt, you can have the Velcro part, that belt, hanging over here and ready, you know, if you want to take it out, put it on. Let's say if you're carrying a battle bag, for example, not the battle bag, battle uh, belt in the car, the belt itself and the Velcro part, you know, somewhere on you if you want, if you don't want to wear it all the time, which I actually like to do, you can hang it here. Or you can use this thing for the hydration system. Yes, you can put the water bladder and uh, there is actually an opening here at the very top as well. So you can actually route the hose from the water bladder all the way through, through the loop, through the handle, down the sling, and actually secure it somewhere here in uh, one of these. And you have actually plenty of them, so you can adjust the, uh, if you wanna carry this thing and, and you want to have more reten retention, just a, a better hole, for example, if you're running, you can. And actually, let's talk about that before we move on to the next compartment. So you have your main sling, which is uh, nicely secure with some extra stitching, as you can see, seems solid. We'll see how long it lasts. So far I took it on a trail run. I took it on NVG kayak ride. Yes, I was testing out my new kayak that my friend gave me. Justin, thank you very much if you're watching this video. I appreciate the kayak. And uh, I took it out on the lake in the middle of the night with my NVGs and it was fun. And this is the thing that I was wearing. And uh, it was great, it was fantastic. So I think on my you know, small adventures where I don't need a lot of stuff, where I literally just need something small, you know, and, and here, NVGs fit in perfectly, extra water fits in perfectly, uh, just you know, basic necessities for, for the mission, whatever it is that you're doing, pretty good. But speaking of the sling, we have our main sling, right? And, and it gives you a, a very nice, comfortable wear, but if you are running, if you are planning to do something, if you wanna be active and do some jumping around, right? We have this thing right here, which can secure, and the whole thing is, by the way, ambidextrous. If you don't like this right now, I'm wearing it, what is it? Right, so right now it's over the right shoulder. If you want, you can actually switch, and it switches very simply, this and switch it to this side and have it over the left shoulder. And the same thing is for the additional sling for extra retention. You can completely remove it from here or you can have this on both sides, again, ambidextrous, clipped in, and I'll show you. So you don't even need to see it in order to get it in place. There we go. And now we have some extra retention. So if you are, take my gun out, if you're doing something along these 
lines. <laughs> you can definitely do it without any problems. It's gonna stay nice uh, and secure. Which is good because that's not what you normally would get a sling for because you would get a sling for something that is a little bit more relaxed. But with something that you carry for tactical purposes, EDC, you know, you definitely want the ability to give you uh, extra, extra hold, extra secure hold if you need to run, if you need to do something that is extra active. So let me uh, take this thing off and we will we'll move on to uh, an interesting compartment now, a very interesting compartment. That's for your EDC purposes specifically. And it is a double compartment, which uh, is, you might appreciate it, you might not appreciate it, but I think it's necessary to keep this thing ambidextrous. So, there is a pocket on one side, and there is a pocket on the other side. And it is, as you can see, it is for the same compartment. So you can have access to it from whatever side you want. The benefit of this, of course, you have ambidextrous operation, which is great, right? You wanna switch it over right shoulder, over left shoulder, it doesn't matter. A little bit of the downside is, if you have your handgun, and you have it, and there is actually, I'll show you if you can see it, there's a loop on the inside, and you can adjust it and have your gun sit very nicely, and I think specifically with, uh, with the newer slimline blocks, it's, uh, it works very well, because you can, you can have it in there, you can have it locked in place, in the ready position, and when you need to get to it, it is readily available, all right? Pretty good. But, at the same time, because you have access through both sides, the downside, a little bit of the downside, and again, it's kind of relative. For somebody, it might be like, nah, it's not a big deal. For somebody, it can be like, okay, I see why it might be a downside. Is that if you are, you know, adjusted to one specific side and you have the gun, the grip of the gun pointing in one direction where you need to be, you know, drawing the gun from, because there are compartments on both sides, and we're talking about tactical situations, survival situations, something happens unexpectedly on both sides, it might create a little bit of that, you know, you're, you're, you're taking it off, okay, which side? If you get used to it, it's not going to be a problem. Obviously, if you have a range like this, Mr. Cody's, where you can actually try stuff out, actually don't try stuff like this out here, okay? Then uh, Mr. Cody will blame, <laughs> blame, blame me. But uh, if you have an opportunity to practice your draw, whatever it is that you're carrying, whatever kind of holster, uh, if you're carrying it obviously in something like this, uh, which is a also a great option. I think it's a fantastic option for you know, EDC. But practice, practice your draw from whatever it is, however it is that you're carrying. All right, so we're done talking about the interesting compartment. Uh, let me mention quickly uh, about the back side. You have a very, very nice, comfortable padding. Again, the pattern allows for some airflow, so pretty good. You also do have a handle from the bottom here as well, which, uh, I, you know, it might be helpful. I can't think of a reason why, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I will uh, eventually discover. Now, there are some additional compartments on uh, the very front of the backpack, of the uh, sling. There's a compartment here. There's a compartment on the other side. And interestingly, this is not exactly the same compartment. No, this is actually completely separate. They are separated with the space, the spacer or, or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, check this out. So, pretty good for uh, something, something little. And then there's a compartment at the very, very top, and this is more of a wallet size, so you can put your cards, whatever it is, in here. And uh, that's really pretty much it. Overall, the quality seems fantastic. The, uh, uh, I mean, I still need to, I'm still working on, um, you see the straps, usually I adjust the straps once I get everything the way it is 
supposed to be and the way it's going to stay. Usually I cut them and then burn them down so it's, there's nothing flopping around. It's still in the test mode. So uh, eventually I'll, I will get to doing that. But all the, all the pieces, all the hardware feels uh, very nice. Uh, it did take quite a lot of beating already as, as, as the signs already show. But uh, isn't that what we have the gear for? For, uh, for it to be able to handle the beating, for it to be able to you know, handle whatever kind of mission that uh, we are on and uh, help us, help us uh, accomplish the mission successfully. So I think this is a great product. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Let me know what you think about the sling. What would you go with? Would you rather go with the sling? Or would you go with a regular backpack? Let me know why. Uh, for your EDC purposes, of course. Um, I would really appreciate your comments uh, in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.